Hello everyone, hello, 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 and welcome to Joanne's Kitchen. How's everybody doing today? I hope all is well. Well, this morning I come to you guys, let me see. First of all, to my new subscribers, thank you for taking the time to subscribe to my channel. And welcome to Joanne's YouTube family. I'm so glad to have you. And to those of you that's watching this channel for the first time, go ahead and take the time to subscribe. And be sure to tap that notification bell so every time I upload a video or whatever is uploaded, you want to be notified because you don't want to miss out on these good recipes. What kind of biscuits you need? Huh? What kind of biscuits you need? You say you need biscuits. Oh, just regular canned biscuits. Biscuits in the can. They said those are the dog store? Yeah, they said them in the dog store. Biscuits in the can. Um, just get four cans. I'm only cooking one can. Alright. So, um, sorry about that. Y'all excuse me. So anyway, um, to my, I said thank you all, right? And be sure to tap that notification bell and all that good stuff. You don't forget to do that. But anyway, let's get to the recipe. Okay, so today I'm making an um, easy recipe. And it's going to be delicious. And I'm telling you, you need to try this recipe, okay? If you ain't never had beef struggling off this way, try it my way. I'm telling you, you'll fall in love with this dish, okay? It's so easy to make. I'm telling you, I love this dish. I love my beef struggling off. And we're going to stop it up with some biscuits, okay? I love it with biscuits, okay? But anyway, let's get into the recipe so I can show you guys the ingredients. First of all, you're going to need some cube steak. Now, you know this, everybody know cube steak come in chunks, right? But I took them and I chopped them up real fine. I cut them like in half four times. So like off one big piece, I got like four or five pieces off of it. This is how small I chopped them up. You're going to need them this small, okay? And besides the big stroganoff, you know we're going to need egg noodles. Let me move my beef stroganoff over here. Okay. I'm using sea salt. Sea salt, kosher salt, whatever salt you use. You're going to need some salt. You're going to need some black pepper, onion powder, garlic powder. I am using sazon and some paprika. You're going to need one stick of butter. You're going to need some white mushrooms, okay? Or you can use brown mushrooms. It doesn't matter because I use them both, okay? So you're going to need some fresh mushrooms, okay? You're going to need some sour cream, okay? You're going to need some parsley flakes, which I didn't take down. You're going to need some Worcestershire sauce, okay? We're going to be using Worcestershire sauce. You're going to need some onion mushroom recipe secrets, okay? You're going to need this, okay? And last but not least, you're going to need some cornstarch. If you don't have cornstarch, you can substitute the cornstarch for um, all-purpose flour, okay? So let's get started. Let me take this off the heat. I got the um. Oh, and you're gonna need some onions and some bell peppers. Now this is where it's different. Most people don't put put bell peppers into the um be strong enough. But I tell y'all, I'm different. Sorry about that. I love um, bell peppers and onions in my beef stroganoff, okay? Just try it in there. I'm telling you, you'll like it. And you're going to need some fresh garlic cloves, okay? I had three, but I don't know where the other one hopped off to. Maybe it might have fell in my dishwasher and I didn't know it because when I chopped, something fell. So I don't see it on the floor anyway. But anyway, you're going to need three fresh garlic cloves, okay? And we'll come back and chop those up. But right now, we're going to take our meat. And we're going to season our meat up. Now I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil. And then this is um, grapeseed oil here. Grapeseed. So olive oil, grapeseed oil, vegetable oil, whatever kind of oil that you use to put on your meat. That's what you're going to need. Okay, just a little bit. Okay, and then we're going to use some salt for this. And I cleaned my meat when I cleaned my meat. And you're going to need to clean your meat, okay? So when I cleaned it, I put it in the colander. And then I got a bowl sitting up under so all that water just can fall into that bowl. 
You can okay. I'm using black pepper. Okay, I'm using onion powder. Garlic powder. Sazon. Spanish paprika. And I'm going in. Okay, make sure you get this all coated with your seasoning. And I better take out the parsley before I forget it, but I don't need that to last. And you sure can use fresh parsley, okay? Let me wash my hands. Okay, and I'm going to turn you guys over this way. And you want to make sure your pan is good and hot, okay? Now we're going to we're gonna brown our meat. Oh, excuse me. We're going to brown our meat. That's where the one stick of butter is going to come in at. And we're only using just one stick, okay? I'm not going to add any um, grapeseed oil to my pan. I'm just going to fry it with the butter, okay? See, I'm building my flavor. See, we already have it seasoned. That's two tablespoons. Four tablespoons of butter. Okay, let's let that melt. Okay, we're going to put a little bit of meat in here. I might try to just brown all of it and see if all of it is brown instead of doing it in batches. I don't want to be all day cooking. So we only using butter only, no oil, okay? So don't add no oil to it, okay? Don't add no oil, butter only. And then if it's any the, um, grease left over in the pan after we finish, 
we're gonna re re be removing that because we don't need the grease okay we just need it for right now to fry or saute our meat Okay, don't take too much longer for that okay so we're gonna let it get brown a little bit more i still have it on high and then um we're gonna drain the grease off of this and then we're gonna saute our vegetables and that'll be our onions and our bell pepper and our mushroom okay I just added some salt to my um, egg noodles. I'm gonna add a little grapeseed oil in here. And this is just one bag. Okay, this is ready. Okay, I'm gonna drain this off. Then we're gonna stick some more butter in there and do our bed.
Okay, it don't need to washing it out, okay? We don't need we don't need to wash it out, okay? Okay, here's our onions and bell pepper. And we're gonna saute these for two minutes just until they become translucent, okay? Just two minutes. One more minute. Okay, while that's doing that, I'm going to bring you back over here and we're going to um, smash up our garlic because we gonna need the garlic next. So I need to smash that on up, okay? Just give it a good whack. We gonna um, dice this up real fine, okay? Chop it up real small.
Okay, and then we're gonna add in our our garlic, okay? So let's add in this garlic. So I'm going to turn y'all back over here. And we're going to stir this for one minute. I mean, not one minute, for 30 seconds, okay? Just until our garlic gets um, pregnant. So you can start to smell it. Almost forgot the mushrooms okay so I have it like on a medium high because I don't want the garlic to burn so we're gonna saute this right here until this gets um to our uh, mushrooms okay did you guys see when I added in the um okay thank you. when I added in the mushrooms and the onions what I did that y'all know y'all seen the onions in the bell pepper but I added after two, two minutes for the onions and the bell pepper, the three minutes for the onion, the two minutes for the onions and the bell pepper, I added in the um garlic, right? I chopped up the garlic cloves with fresh, real fine, I mean, the fresh garlic cloves, the two fresh garlic cloves, I chopped them up real fine, added them in. And then I washed my mushrooms off and I just added them in with some more butter. So you're gonna cook your mushrooms until they, the white mushrooms, if you, ha if you get the white, white or brown it doesn't matter um until they um turn brown okay and i can start to smell these mushrooms so they getting there Okay, and I didn't tell y'all, I'm sorry, you're going to need some beef broth, okay? Some beef broth. Now, if you don't have beef broth, you can not use chicken broth because the beef and the, or the chicken, it's going to bring in flavor too. This is flavor that we're starting, okay? That's why I say no oil. We're just going to do it with butter, okay? Because we are building our flavor. It smells so freaking good. And you know what? It smells good. And I didn't even season. But the onions and the bell pepper season. And the season that was left in this pot. The 
it's all just coming together. It's gonna be the best mush be strong enough you ever wanna taste. I don't know why I'm forgetting to tell y'all things that um you're gonna need some um heavy cream, but I forgot my heavy cream. So if you don't have heavy cream, you can use milk, okay? Any kind of milk will do, okay? All right, so with this right here, we're gonna add in just one envelope, that's all you need. It's just one envelope of your mushroom, or your onion and mushroom, just one envelope, okay? Okay, we're gonna add in. Okay, you put it on. Okay, okay. And I'm just gonna go do two tablespoons, okay? Two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. One tablespoon of cornstarch, okay? One tablespoon of cornstarch. And if we need more, we will certainly add more, okay? Pouring in our milk. Okay. Um. We're gonna take our whisk. We're gonna whisk all this together. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit more milk. We're gonna add in the beef broth too, okay? Now, I have this right here. This is some uh, master gravy, okay? I like my gravy to be dark, okay? So it's not dark enough for me. But if you fine with your gravy, um, this color, then you don't need it, okay? It's only optional. Okay, let me turn it down. Oh. Hot, hot. Okay, I also want it to be creamy. So this one tablespoon. Now we might use three tablespoons. I gotta see how it's gonna do with one, okay? What's this?
Here's our beef broth. Okay, so now I'm going to turn this back up. And I'm going to let it get thick. Since it's going to get a little thick. If not, I'm going to add in a little bit more cornstarch, okay? And I'm going to add in another tablespoon of sour cream. Okay, this is my second. My second tablespoon of sour cream. We're going to whisk. Okay, we're going to add our meat back in. That's our last thing of sour cream, okay? That's all we're going to need, okay? So all you want to do is just whisk this in right here and then we're going to let it simmer for about 20 to 25 minutes. But I'll have it let it simmer. I'll take that back. I'm going to let it simmer for about one hour, okay? I'm just going to let it simmer. And I want my gravy dark. So I'm going to take some of this juice. Put it in the cup. Put another one tablespoon of cornstarch in here. Mix it up and pour it back in there.
Okay, now, it depends on how thick you like your gravy that you can, you know, you know what I'm saying? So you make your gravy how thick that you like it. Yours. I like my gravy pretty thick. So if you don't want this with noodles, you can have this over rice. Over mashed potatoes. Be strong enough over mashed potatoes. It don't have to be over the original egg noodles. Okay, so I'm trying to let it come to the boil to see how thick it is. It's taking too long to boil. It's coming. Go that thickness. It's starting to get thick. So what I'm gonna do is turn it down, put my top on it, and let it simmer for a good one hour. Cause I want it to be good and tender. Okay, y'all see it's getting thick. It's getting thick. So we're gonna let this simmer. I'm gonna cut it down. We're gonna let this simmer for one hour and I will be back to show you guys what my be strong enough gonna look like plated up. So see y'all back. All right, you guys, I am back. Fix this plate up for work. I'm a little noodles. Stay right there. I'm glad I did fix but on um, one bag. Two bags would have been like too much. Oh, the gravy just looks so good. Get some of this struggling off. Definitely mushrooms. A little bit more gravy. I don't think it's going to be none left. Because as soon as I got through with it, everybody ate. And it's just only after, it's 1.30. And I was finished by 12. I just was letting it simmer and everybody ate and um yeah everybody ate I don't think it's gonna be none love my husband already done stated it ain't gonna be none love for tomorrow so I'm gonna have to cook tomorrow
some heat. Okay. And with my biscuit. Because I'll take that biscuit and sop it up with that gravy. So you guys, this is my beef stroganoff. And if you guys like this recipe, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Like, share, and subscribe to Joanne's Kitchen. The recipe will be in the description box below. Get us a little taste for y'all. Mm-mm-mm. And it's tender. Hey, that's good. And it's tender. That's why I let it simmer for about an hour. So that Worcestershire sauce that I put in there can do its job, which was tender the meat up. And that's exactly what it did. So let it simmer about an hour, you guys. You see how I make it? Now, y'all go make y'all sell some. This is a very easy, but yet so tasty and delicious. My way of doing be strong enough. So you guys like this delicious looking recipe? Go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to Joanne's Kitchen. Once again, I thank you all for watching. Until the next recipe or the next video, I will see you guys later. Stay blessed. Stay safe. I love you guys. See you later. Beef Struggling Off My Way 101.